What's in a bezel? Well, for years, manufacturers have used it as a way to hide various components, helping with grounding, wiring, and overall protection of a phone when it gets dropped. Since then, we've figured out how to shrink things, hide them elsewhere, or else combine them entirely as we have with display panels and digitizers, for example. What we're left with is a gorgeous phone that's nearly all screen, a trend that's slowly evolved since LG's G2, which is probably the first major phone to feature tiny bezels. Since then, we've seen this trend wax and wane, from the glorious tiny bezels around Google's Nexus 6, which even included front-facing speakers, to the giant bezels around last year's visually aging Google Pixel. 2016 seems to have been the year where manufacturers forgot a bit about the visual design process, but 2017 has more than made up for that. Hey everybody, it's Nick from Android Headlines, and today we're giving you a look at who's got the best bezels so far in 2017. First out of the gate this year were of course Samsung's Galaxy S8 and LG's G6, two phones that gave new meaning to flagships with small bezels. Both of these phones are made entirely out of metal and glass, but it's Samsung's dual curved edge design that makes their bezels appear even smaller. Upon closer inspection, you'll find this isn't truly the case. There are still bezels around the left and right edges of the Galaxy S8's display, but those curved edges do more than just make the bezels appear smaller. They also give Samsung the ability to create a larger display without making a wider phone, and it's this feeling that gives Samsung the edge, no pun intended, in this particular contest with LG. It didn't take LG long to fix this though, as the upcoming V30 features bezels that are nearly half the size of what we saw on the G6, resulting in a phone that's nearly the same size despite having a screen that's 0.3 inches larger. This, combined with a slight curve on the left and right side, make the V30 an incredibly gorgeous looking device, and one that's easy to hold despite what a 6 inch screen may sound like. In fact, LG's bezels are so small here that it almost seems there are none at all while using the phone. They effectively melt away, and the uniformity of size on almost every side of the phone only helps that illusion. It's just enough bezel to make the phone comfortable to hold, but not so much that it boxes the screen in the way older phone designs do. Samsung's Galaxy Note 8 is a good example of this. While it features the same dual curved edges as the Galaxy S8, it's a little more boxy in its design, and it makes the phone feel ever so slightly less immersive than the Galaxy S8's display. A difference that's of course only represented in millimeters or even fractions of millimeters at times, but it results in differences that may only be obvious when comparing them side by side. This doesn't make the Note 8 any worse somehow, but it's worth noting that by squaring off the corners a bit more, Samsung seems to have made the Infinity display slightly less immersive, even if the screen quality itself is better. And that brings us to the Essential Phone, a phone many so far have been disappointed with, including ourselves. If there's one big area the Essential Phone gets right, however, it's in design, and it's here where we see the winner of our 2017 bezels contest. Last year, Xiaomi delivered the Mi Mix, a phone that delivered basically zero bezels on three out of four sides of the phone. Essential has taken the general idea of the Mi Mix, shrunk it quite a bit, moved the camera to a better spot, and hardened the components considerably. This results in a phone that's packing a 5.7 inch screen, yet remains as small as most phones with five inch screens, and even comes in quite a bit smaller than the LG G6, which has an identical sized 5.7 inch screen. Essential has, of course, placed the front facing camera right in the middle of the status bar on top, but because of how things are organized in Android, this doesn't really affect the end result negatively in any way. In the end, you're getting a phone that's nearly all screen, with just a tiny chin at the bottom for somewhere to grip, and not much of anything else. On top of this, Essential built the phone with a ceramic and titanium body, a build that's considerably stronger than the all ceramic one from the Mi Mix, which broke pretty easily when you dropped it, and even with stands drops better than those aluminum framed phones as well. Now, if we could only have LG or Samsung's OLED panels on this, it could be the ultimate bezel-less phone. We hope you enjoyed this fun little look into the evolution of smartphone designs, and hope you'll subscribe to us to see how many changes we'll continue to see in the future. Chat with us in your favorite social media outlet, and don't forget to check out AndroidHeadlines.com for 24-7 tech news coverage. Thanks for watching, and until next time.